Is it information coming in and my body's feeling? It's more difficult sometimes when it comes in emotionally through your body. Yeah. Because sometimes we interpret that as, oh, that's me. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to fall into that's just me. And I, all of a sudden I feel like crap. Yeah. What happened? Oh, no, you're, you're actually picking something up from somebody who's sitting across from you who's had a really bad day, that kind of thing. So that's part of becoming an observer and having awareness and becoming better at this. What do you think? Well, I was going to say, I had a question about, like, say you're doing your affirmations and do your visual visualization. I was just approaching this from a healer point of view. Say you're somebody who's got like a belief anchored in that's like got a lot of repressed emotion around it. You know, like if you look at a trauma or something and say you're trying, you know, you're, you're out there and you're trying to do this work and create this new belief. Do you think that like that new belief overrides the old one, even though it might have like a lot of charge, like a charge, like of energy, mm -hmm. you know, all, all emotion yeah. is, is, a, is energy in motion, but when it's repressed, it's stagnant. But when something is repressed and stagnant, you know, when information is coming in from these levels of super conscious or subconscious levels, I wouldn't say that it overrides it. I don't think that is what happens, but mm -hmm. what can happen is some of those old pieces of that block will start coming out and moving, especially with breath work. Okay. So there's almost like an exchange of energy, I guess, as something comes out, something comes in. 